Did I tie this thing right? Ooh, and it has two pockets. Um, I'm thinking about doing Korean style curry. Korean style curry, well, every country has their own style, but Korean, it's, it's a little bit milder. Uh, it's a bit soupy and it goes really well with rice. Well, that sounds like every other curry actually. Um, all right guys, so then uh, Katie also got me this nice skirt. It looks nice, huh? Check it out. It's a little bit uh, avant-garde, if I may say. Um, but I think it's gonna help me out with cooking. So uh, let's get started. <laughs> I guess people like you don't like to fool with country people like me. Potatoes, onions, and carrot. And this is all you need. Guys, because I want leftovers, which taste even better, I'm gonna do a four person portion. You could add any other ingredients. I particularly like to have button mushrooms and broccoli, but again, optional, necessary. Just cut it in half. Cut first down the line, sounds like tennis. Rough cuts, do some volleys here. So in Korea, we use a medium sized potatoes. It's about the size of my finger. So if you're using something larger, you may just use one potato. Then cut it into thirds, and then just rough chops. Cut it into similar shapes to the potato. Button mushrooms, we'll quarter them broccoli we'll just cut off a few we'll cut these I'm gonna just use some beef cutting them into bite-sized pizzas you can use chicken you can use pork um, any cut is fine um, or if you're vegetarian you just skip this step altogether if you go to the Korean Mart you're gonna see curry in these forms so otugi this little guy right here is probably the most famous brand I'm using the the medium spice so it's not that hot and it comes either as a powder or it comes as a block i actually prefer this better and uh let's begin put this on a medium high heat put some oil into the pan feels pretty hot we're gonna dump in our onions first once you start to see them uh, turn a little bit shiny we're gonna add in our meat i'm gonna move the onions to one side and get our meat in once you see the meat browning, just add in all of the vegetables except for the broccoli. We're going to save the broccoli for a little bit later. Just stir this around. Once you start to see most of the vegetables sweating, we're going to put in three cups of water. One, two, three. Crank it up to the highest heat. Now all of the juices from the vegetables are going to mix in with that water. Very nice. Once it comes back up to a boil, you're going to now start to see some gunk on the top. and collect some of this gunk off now. We're gonna reduce the heat to a medium heat. It's boiling too much. We don't want too much water to evaporate. And we'll let this simmer for 10 minutes. 10 minute mark, we're gonna add in our broccoli as well. We're gonna melt in our roux. You can grab one of the blocks and you just melt it in. We're gonna use all of them, but I like to put in a little bit at a time and you can taste. All right, that was all six, so we'll melt this in. So now it's become too thick. I'm gonna just add in a little bit more water here, like this. All right, guys, that's it. So I got my rice on a plate. I'm gonna get some meat, some mushrooms. I'm gonna just pour it on the side. See, it has a nice golden brown color. That's a full meal right there, guys. You can sprinkle some black sesame seeds for garnish so it looks like no one touched the rice. And then you get some kimchi as well. Eat a little bit of the curry, get some toppings, bring it in. Oh wow, doesn't that look fabulous, guys? Mm. Excellent. Just good. So Korean curry is simple. Uh, it's fast and it's uh, very delicious. If you're looking to learn more about spices, I would try like Nepalese or Indian curries, um, which start the, the curry base from scratch. Otherwise, Korean and even Japanese curry is good, it's really good. Katie's plate. My bowl. And what do you have to say? I just got back from work and Daniel cooked this amazing curry. Well done, Daniel. You're forever my servant. <laughs> what?